Hey guys, it's Amber and welcome back to Mountain Prime Acquittal. Last time we were here, my hands are so numb with cold I can't remove that rope. So we need something to remove that rope. Let me see, what's all this blood? This is like in a horror movie, I'm following a trail of blood. What's this down here? Christian Poltoski, Senator Zeeler's personal assistant and then their number. It looks like there's footprints right here, too. I'm looking to see if there's anything else that I can interact with. What is this? That lock is encased in ice. I can't open it. But we did get a mug of snow. So that's for something. These snow drips are deep. If I fall into one, my odds of being rescued will be reduced to zero. What's the personal secretary of a U.S. senator doing here? That's also what I would like to know. All these dubs of money transfers. I don't want to go back, though, right now. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. I found drops of blood leading to a pile of snow, and then I found another victim. How many more will there be? And why am I always a few minutes too late? Is anyone else still alive in this godforsaken place? Oh, I read that last time. What's back here? So if I go back, it takes me back down. I didn't want to do that, but anyway... I gotta go back up. At least I think so. Yes, that is true. There's still more for me to do up in the mountain area. At least it didn't take very long to go back down and back up. So it took forever, it would be really irritating, but I also am wondering what the senator's assistant is doing here. It's very strange. And what am I supposed to do here? Oh, I can use the snowshoes. So I can get over to this truck. Okay, here's a puzzle. Okay, we got that done with. Oh, hot air balloon. It went up into the sky. It blew up over there. Looks like we got a knife. We can use the knife to cut open this. So let's do that. Get her done. What is this? A burner needs gas. Ooh, a gun. Oh great, this gun doesn't have any bullets. I need ammunition or survive an encounter with a killer. So we need ammunition. To whom does this backpack belong? The murderer or his victim? Do I have any gas? I do have gas. Now I can light it. We have matches. There's not much fuel in there. Do we need to do this? What do we need a warm glass of water for? Oh, maybe this. We can get to this puzzle. The killer is mocking me. Once again, one fragment is missing. I've had enough of this foolish game of death. Well, I think I have it. Yes, I do. Okay. This place is too beautiful to have been abandoned for no reason. Something terrible must have happened here. We got a remote needs batteries. I do not have any batteries. Can we go in here? It's locked. What a shock. Um... What am I supposed to do? I should try to turn on the TV as I might hear some good news. Damn, is anyone coming to get us out of here? Oh, we got a broom. The last notes are dated 1990. Diagram of maximum temperatures. So the last time one was here was 1990? Huh. Judging by what's been going on around here, this gun will come in handy. I'm not an expert marksman by any stretch of the imagination, but I have shot a gun once or twice. Despite my lack of experience, this gun will allow me to defend myself when I meet the killer. If only I knew when that will happen. Oh, I found a TV app. I'm lucky it'll work. The local news stations might be airing reports about the killer and our rescue operation. It would be nice to have a few answers. That I still have several questions, like how much longer we're going to have to wait for the police. If they take much longer, there won't be anyone left to rescue. That is kind of true, though. They don't come soon. The killer will just kill everybody, and there won't be anyone at this resort at all to save. 
Looks like the pickup has something going on. Looks like we found a car vacuum. I'm not sure what we're doing. Um. Oh, we got a screwdriver. What do I need a screwdriver for? This? No. What the hell? It's another dead body. This time buried in snow. Who was this? Oh, I can use the broom. They're frozen. He didn't look like he died very nicely. What's he holding? A tape recorder. The Did boss delegated ah. a sensitive matter to me today. I need to talk with Charlie about doing some work for us. I also need to plan everything well, as my boss's reputation and likely my life are at stake. The victim is holding a dictaphone. Does it contain a message from the killer? The boss delegated. There's nothing else we can do with that. I want to see what this was. Christian, take care of these problems. Use all the resources at your disposal. Mr. Zeller, October 4th, 1987. So this is Christian. That's why he has his uh, ID right here. So he is Senator Zeller's personal assistant. I wonder what he wanted him to take care of, though. We have a screwdriver. I'm not sure. The screwdriver wouldn't work with the gun. And I don't have any batteries. Telling me there's still something here. Oh! I think I used this here. Get the battery out. No, I just take it out. Okay. Can we use the batteries on the controller here? I need another battery. Did this have one more battery? He looks freshly murdered. No, I don't want that. I want the... Oh, it won't let me do that anymore. I don't think he's freshly murdered because uh, he's frozen solid. I mean, he could have been murdered a day ago. Okay, so now we go back. It shows. I'm not sure what to use a screwdriver on at this moment. I'm trying to remember everything. Oh, I, this has a battery. So we'll get the battery out of this old radio. So then we'll have two batteries and we will be able to turn on the TV. I'm not really sure if the TV should be the most important thing that we're dealing with right now. I mean, I think it should be trying to find bullets for the gun or something like that, but not trying to watch the news to see something about the killer. I don't think that's really priority number one. It looks like surveillance footage of Catherine's room. They're not the cop? What's he doing in her backpack? I mean, in her uh, luggage. Jack was looking for something in Catherine's suitcase, and now everyone except him and me are dead. Which leaves me with one conclusion. And it leaves him with the advantage in this game of cat and mouse. And he's armed and I'm not. I can't leave this place without a loaded weapon. What's this? Hairpin. Anything else I can grab? Dead body found at Weather Station. Jackson Rayner, the local tutor who has been searching for Brad Trong yesterday, discovered the body of Paul Fitterson at the Weather Station in Hornell Canyon. Rayner immediately called the police according to their initial investigation. Fitterson was choked to death. The killer used the tie the victim was wearing. The police have not found a suspect, but will continue to investigate the murder. We have learned that the police believe the motive behind Fitterson's death is buried in his past. Throughout this life, he experienced many financial difficulties and grew deep in debt. The police are collecting information about Fitterson's life since 1988 as part of their investigation. We will report any additional details that come to our attention. December 18, 1995. But there's been a death here before. Alright, I don't need to look at that again. It won't let me click out, though. Okay, so... The hairpin, I'm trying to figure out what I use that on. It's showing here. Oh, I can use it to unlock this. Is that bullets in there? Is there anything else in there? No. 
we can get the gun out and we can put the bullets in the gun. Now I can return to the hotel and detain Jack. We got a weapon, so now we should be kind of safe. Go back down. I wonder if if uh, Jack is knows that we're up to detaining him. We're the only survivors, Philip, which means you're the killer. Nice try, Jack, but I've already figured out what happened here. The events of this night are connected to an old mountain retreat, St. Anna Resort, and its owner, Bill Wilton. His daughter convinced his mechanic to sabotage the brakes of his car. On that day, Bill died in a car accident. The notary had failed to announce Bill's last will and testament, so Amber received everything her father owned. Amber, in turn, sold the resort to Zeeler, who intended to turn a quick profit by closing the place and burning it down for the insurance money. Local residents were upset about Zeeler closing the resort, but that didn't stop him. Instead of reopening the place, he had his assistant hire Charlie to burn it down. Then Zeeler bribed a policeman to close the case. And that policeman was you, Jack. You accepted blood money in exchange for letting a killer go free. But you couldn't keep your mouth shut and told Catherine Miller everything. Instead of notifying the authorities, she blackmailed Zeeler. And what about you, Philip? How are you connected to all of this? Hmm? Never mind. I should allow your secrets to remain buried in the past. Who shot him? I'm gonna attack their character! Who are you? You don't remember me. But I remember you. You're my twin brother. What? I also remember our sister, Martha. And how she kept screaming for you until she died in the fire. I tried to save her, but I couldn't. And where were you? With your new family. But don't worry. Today, we've exacted revenge for every misfortune that has befallen our family. It looks like Philip did it all, but it was his twin brother, but he's being charged with it all. That was a very interesting ending. I didn't think it was going to go that way at all. I mean, I figured Amber killed her father for the money and stuff. But I never thought that Philip had a twin brother and he was actually the killer. And I knew the cop was bad because he acted shifty and like he was hiding something. And I knew the um, journalist lady knew a lot more than what we could get out of her before she died. So I knew that. But man, there was a lot more to the story than I thought. That was really interesting. This is a really fun game. Uh, I really enjoyed playing it. I'm sad it's over. I was having a lot of fun playing it, but I'll be playing more games like this. So please everybody like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time with another video.